Hi, this is Lifestyle Chain, it's versatile and um, well as you can see right now I'm actually headed out. I'm actually making a small a short trip. The distance is about two hours out and I'm going for a retreat. Yeah, I'm going on a personal retreat to spend some time to um, reflect inner. So this is like one of the tasks I have tasked myself to do um, in this season now that the year has just started and it's only um, important to do this to be able to get a redirection in the course of this um, on the course of this journey of life. So when I get to the camp, I'll also take a shot, take some pictures and um, show you what the place is like. It's a prayer camp, so get to do some meditations, reflections and all the likes. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next um, one week. So I'm also going to be taking a break off YouTube because I think I just need time off everything and everyone. Yes, the children are safe. Um, I've kept them somewhere safe so that I can have this time to myself. Well, that's the much. I will see you when I get to the camp and sure, promise to do a tour of the place, okay? So for now, it's love and light. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now I've gotten on the very first vehicle, which would be about an hour long journey. And I had to try to take this clips without um, the other passengers on the vehicle. And as you can see, I've got my mask on in order to protect myself from oh yeah you see the other woman next to me okay so when I get to the destination of this first ride I'm to take another vehicle to the camp I will speak to you once I get in that vehicle okay so um, currently a vehicle headed to a second vehicle headed to the other vehicle camp and um, I don't know how long this is going to take the journey just took us about one hour. Um, yeah. Then this one, maybe another 20 minutes, thereabouts. <laughs> See you in a bit. Here we are at the junction. Now I have to take a bike. Oh, I couldn't help but take a shot on the bike. <laughs> take a look at the setting sun. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, here we are at the location. Beautiful, right? Okay, so come with me so I go get registered. Okay, so I am here and you can hear how quiet everywhere is. So I left home at 3.33 and I'm here at 5.06. So that should be about um, one hour 45 minutes I'm going to the reception right now which is over there hold up and there we are we have the bookshop we have the reception and the store so I couldn't resist the temptation of showing you the prize list it is so affordable if you must know the alone with God camp is a non-denominational facility that is managed by the four square gospel church I was here first in 2012 that was when I first came here and um, I enjoyed my stay so and up till date this is still what the prize is now this is what the hostel space looks like I believe you can also get single rooms you can get um, a flat what you call a suite of your own such that you and your families can you know use by yourselves can you spot my bed space in any anyway oh yeah there you go have you seen it yet I'm not sure <laughs> I'll show you in a bit so counting down and there you go right there that's my bed <laughs> very small but I did manage the space hi people so today's day two I've spent my first night um, and my first day okay so this is um, my first day here on the camp and my second night on the camp so um, it's been quite interesting and I just needed to check in on you and hope that you're okay let you know that I'm having a fun time here um, I did some quiet time some prayers and um, I'm enjoying the scenery I'm enjoying the quietness I'm enjoying the ambience here so I just want to check in with you um, sometime later I will take pictures of this place so that you get to see what it looks like and um, I will be sharing with you about here you know in case you happen to come around um, 
Nigeria or coming to Nigeria and looking for a quiet place where you want to spend some time, you know, I'll be sharing pictures with you. But now, we'll have a nice. Okay, so I had to create a routine for myself in order to work with easily and I also had the instruments for my quiet time and reflection as you can see them right here. Oh yeah, here is a view of what the girls hostel looks like. So there are three spaces, one, two, three as you can see and this is what the inside looks like and here we have about 32 occupants in this hall with bunk beds as you can see. Okay, so the boys hostel, I had to stay from afar to take the shots so it wouldn't be seen as though I was, you know, intruding into their space. And here are the single rooms in case you want to get a space just by yourself, you can have this room space. And of course, this is the suite area and you have everything in suits in here. It has a very lovely space outdoor, which is one thing I love about it. You can sit anywhere in any area. Just couldn't help but take the shot. Take a look at this walk path. A lot of people did their prayer walks on this path. And it was interesting, like just walking into nature, you know, being surrounded by nature, the plants, the trees, the green area and all of that. It just brings life to your meditations and your personal reflections. And yeah, there's a hall for church activities, for conferences, seminars and the likes. But it has to be gospel related. Oh, here you go. This is exactly the spot that was for me. This is where I stayed. I sorted it out myself. As you can see, it's very much by the fence. I felt really scared on the first day being there by myself because no other huts were close to the area. These are called prayer huts. From the prayer huts, I took this shot. You can see how far the other prayer hut is. Yeah, I had to zoom in on here and then the space around it again, beautiful. There is a smaller hole, as you can see right here. People come here to pray on their own too in groups another beautiful view yeah. and yes there is a kitchen for those who need to eat the stomach because you have a lot of people who choose to fast during this period while they're here but if you have other kitchen needs you can always walk here and you get serviced it's very active but of course they have a closed time and an opening time and from this gate you get welcomed into the camp and also bade farewell out of the camp hoping that you've had an interesting time being at the camp well this is the much i can take i think i would like to leave you here i must tell you that i really did have an interesting time spending time by myself to reflect on my life and for the year 2021 and assuredly I got answers to some of the burning questions that have been bothering me. You might want to take some time by yourself also and I hope you find what you're looking for. So this is Lifestyle which is versatile. You know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel right away comment below you also want to hit the notification bell so you get informed when a new content drops for now it is love and light see you in the next videos and get ready to rock with me in 2021 i love you may the peace be with you